Guys! Hello. Hello! My name is Maya, I'm a British Minecraft YouTuber, and this is Jack, he's a five foot tall conservationist. Thank you. I'd like to say five foot one, but that's, You're welcome. you know, that's me. Guys, Jack was here like two years ago, mm. and I watched the VOD this morning, and the whole setup looked terrible, and he only met like five animals, and he only wiped Oof. one butt. I do not plan on wiping. <laughs> so, I plan on wiping no butt today. Not even my own. I'm letting it crust today. Name one that you met last time besides the cow. Georgie. Oh, respect. I was gonna ask if you remembered his name. Yeah. I'm great with. I'm not actually. I'm terrible with names. I don't know how I've managed to remember the name of that frog. Hey, it's me, Georgie the frog. <laughs> hey, I eat fucking. What do I eat? What do I eat again? <laughs> bugs. I eat bugs and shit. Jack, he's so much bigger than last time. He you is saw actually him. really big. Look at this guy. He's huge. Guys, this is Georgie. He's an African bullfrog. You'll hold him again. I will hold him. Reunited. Again. I wonder if he remembers you. He this way around? Which yeah, way around? just under hands under him. Hands then, under him. I would hate if he pissed on me. Well, sometimes that does happen. So Recreate the picture. Oh, we had a picture cute. like this last time. Oh my god, Georgie. He's great. <laughs> Hey, Georgie. Georgie is an amphibian. Do you guys know why we're wearing gloves? Do you know why we're wearing gloves, Jack? Uh, if I remember, he, he'd kill me if I didn't. Well, no. <laughs> no, not actively. I'm not saying he's like gonna like be like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Don't, don't lift me with your dirty hands. Like, I, 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 is he toxic? I no, don't walk off. No. That's, it's, everything is worth living for, Georgie. It's not worth it. Whoa, 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 whoa. He has semi-permeable skin. You know how I said they bury themselves for 10 months? Oh. So they have to soak up oxygen. To, oh, of course. To get enough oxygen down there. Um, so yes, they absorb things. It also means that he can absorb bad things, though. Um, oh. So if Jack has any poo-poo on his hands. Which I don't. I just said, I'm not wiping today. <laughs> now watch, oh, he spotted that super Watch him at work. Me. National Geographic, baby. Go, Georgie, go. Go, Georgie. This is a sit and wait predator. Oh, oh, oh he, he missed. almost had it. Hey, you almost got him, buddy. This oh my God, he's amazing. Get in. I could yeah, eat worms that quick. Look at him, he looks so proud right now. He does. He's like, wow. I I ate that shit. Well done. Mate. I did that. Mm. <laughs> so Georgie's sick, he's bigger. I learned that he's uh, evil, uh, I think is what I remember learning. He uh, he had that deep evil voice, terrible, terrible voice. Um, but it was it was really cool. Um I, I think I'd forgotten a lot about like the burrowing and stuff. It was it, it was really interesting. Patchy! Da 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 Patchy the ball python. Patchy's name is Patchy because he's got one eye. Oh, she's yeah. got one eye. See, I this remember side. now. I remember Patchy. No eye. Eye. Yeah, I remember. Eh. There you go. Yay! When Jack came here, I think she was probably like this long. She was not that big. Yeah, I, I, she's, now she's, she's like... She's, yeah, balled up right now, but... I don't know. I can show you guys, actually. There's Patchy's most recent shed. <laughs> you can't really tell when she's all curled up with Jack there, but she's actually pretty long. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, if I, uh, sort of... Yeah! Do Yay, that. Patchy! Oh my gosh, a demonstration! Jack, you're like a... You're like a jungle guy. Look I that. try my best. Thank you for catching it, though. <laughs> Do you guys know how snakes smell? What? Do you know how snakes smell? No, not sort of normal. Not, just like, yeah. just like normal. Pete. He's got jokes. He's got jokes. She had it. You know what? I really figured she would have at least a smell. Nothing, huh? And she doesn't. It's with their tongues, though, right? They smell with their tongue, yeah. So they collect particles on their tongue, and then they have a Jacobson's organ in the roof of their mouth, and so they bring their tongue back in and press it up against that organ, and that's how they figure out what they're smelling. Snakes have a forked tongue. Snakes' tongues look like this, right? Uh, there's some new research that's, that's been coming out that shows the reason they have this forked tongue is if they stick it out and they catch particles on this side, scent particles, uh -huh. then they veer off this way to like oh, follow wow. the trail. Oh, it's like, it's like directional. Isn't that crazy? I suppose, you think that's why we have two nostrils? I've never thought about that. No, I don't think so. Don't? I think our sense of smell is so shot. It well, just, our, like, our, it's not even comparable. Ours is pretty bad, but like, you, like, like, you know, at the point of origin, when we were like fucking like apes and shit, and you think, yeah. and then it's just like a sort of remnant of that. I'm Maybe. making theories, I'm making animal <laughs> theories Maybe. on the fly. Probably what if not. I'm right? What if all the scientists in the world go, holy shit, this Twitch guy, he's came up with something. There's the, that's the newest research, actually, what Jack just said. Could be. Do you know what a snake's penis looks like? 
I don't know if I want to, but go on. Do you want to guess here? I'll switch with you and you can try to draw. I can try and draw a snake penis. Yeah. God, I fucking love doing this thing. You, you come on an animal stream and all of a sudden I can draw all the dicks I want and it's Twitch can't say anything. Educational. They got balls too? Uh, just draw the penis. They do have. Oh, so all of a sudden, I can't draw internal. the balls. I mean, you, if you would like to, you can. But so, it would all right, be wrong. this is the snake, right? Okay, the balls is here. All right, they're inside. Okay. I've decided. Okay, so this is the cloaca here. This okay. Cloaca. And the penis, the snake penis. All right, comes out, and you'll never guess what. A whole new snake comes out. It's it's <laughs> the the snake's penis is in fact another snake, but the tongue, it's semen. Snake penises look like I'm drawing with my left hand. Like that. Like the tongue? Yeah, kind of. Um, it's called a hemi penis. Two heads. What's the purpose of a hemi penis? Twice the odds. <laughs> so what? They they, 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 they they shoot rope out of both ends. <laughs> so when they uh, when snakes breed, sometimes they'll have breeding balls, or they'll like wrap around each other, like spiral around each other. Um, and so having a hemi ew, having a hemi penis uh, makes it so that they can enter on either side when they're like rolling around. Oh, so they're, they're, they ain't like putting both in at once. No. They're, they're just, they're picking one and going, all right, that's 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 the one that's going in today. Yeah. I don't know, if I woke up, my penis had two heads. I, I'd probably eventually think it's cool, but initially I would I'd be terrified. Uh, but I think if, if it just always been that way, then yeah, I feel like potentially, I, I mean, you, you could reproduce more efficiently for sure. That's a dragon. That's what dragons are based off of. This is toast. <laughs> Toaster strudel. You, you always wonder how did people come up with these mythical creatures? They saw one of these. That's what they did. Yeah, maybe. Oh, you're warm. Yeah, he's on a heat in that. I didn't expect him to be warm. Toaster strudel is a blue tongued skink. Oh, yeah, he is. Uh, a who? A skink. Oh, okay. Sorry. Misheard. Why? Because he's got a blue tongue. Um, also, he has a blue tongue to tell potential predators that he's poisonous. Um, a lot of animals have like really bright colors in the wild, you know? What? <laughs> Why have you said um, that now? I'm holding But him. he's not actually poisonous. Oh, he's lying. It's a lie. Oh, he's a liar. It's a bait. Yeah. I actually, uh, I didn't know animals could lie. Yeah, he's not poisonous. It's called dimatic display. Mm. Do you know what he eats? No. Yes. Probably like Guess. insects, spiders and shit. Yep, 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 yep. His favorite food is snails though. Really? Um, yeah, toaster shooter loves snails. You know who hates snails? Oh, that's a nice feeling. Gardeners. Gardeners hate snails because they eat their plants, so then they put pesticides on their plants. Then the snails oh. eat the pesticides. Then toast eats the snails. Then toast eats the pesticides. Toast dies. So chemical pesticides Come are Come on, bad. farmers. Yeah. What are you doing? What the heck? You don't want to kill this guy. He's not really venomous. He's lying. It's really, he's got very stubby legs. Like, he really drags he his tummy along. He has such short legs. It's actually I crazy. didn't figure he'd be dragging his tummy everywhere, but he does. Oh, he's cute. Look at him. Show him your tongue. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I watched How to Train Your Dragon when I was, what, uh, just, a, just a wee boy. And I, I thought, hmm, wow, I've just experienced that. But it already been trained, so it wasn't really a tutorial, more of just a sort of trained, trained dragon, the film. I don't think you, you have not met this one. Tortellini? <laughs> I told you, I was, thank you so much. This is Tortellini. Oh, it's got a thing on the back that looks like it will hurt. Yeah, he's a scorpion. He's an emperor scorpion. He's not holding one, I assume. Holding one. One I can hold. Oh, no. Yeah. This is Tortellini. He's a baby emperor scorpion. Yeah, he doesn't I'll look bring too him big. I'll um, So, you know the big, like, black scorpions that are the size of your hand? You've seen pictures of those? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, as an adult, he'll look like this. Wow. But right oh, now. Oh, the pincers get fucking massive. Yeah, right now he's just a little baby. What, so uh, I got a question mm -hmm. um, with this guy. Yeah. Uh, what? So is he still an insect? What, what are scorpions considered? He's an arachnid. An arachnid. So oh, spider. Oh, of course, yeah. Eight. Eight legs. Eight, eight legs. Two segmented body, eight legs. Insects have a three segmented body and what six you, legs. Do you guys want to see a cool tortellini trick? We got to turn the lights off. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're already going down. Scorpions are, are really cool because they fluoresce uh, in UV light. The whole thing? Look, you can't see him. Wow, oh my <laughs> god. Can't. Isn't that wild? Wow. Yeah, he gets like neon green and so a black light. He what's glows. the purpose of that for him? So the theory is that they can find each other this way. So they're able to see this they can and see we're UV. not. Okay. Mm -hmm. They actually glow in the dark. This is what glow in the dark is. Yeah. 
Crazy, wow. huh? Very cool. Thank you. Glow in the dark tortellini. Kind of cool. If you guys want to go find bugs at night, I wouldn't recommend picking them up. But if you walk around with a black light at night, you might find some crazy stuff. It was green. I often say green is 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 the most evil color. Green, uh, uh, evil things are green. Goblins, uh, gremlins, um, trolls, orcs. I mean, you can really name a few. Uh, how I, and, and I suppose I'm right because it had that evil stinger. So I suppose really it just confirmed a theory that I've had for a while. Wait a second, Jack. What? When you came to see Stompy, did yeah. I say it was a girl? I believe so. What? Stompy's male. Oh, Stompy's a boy? For the first year of his life, we thought female because we just guessed. But then when they're adults, they start making different vocalizations. <laughs> what, what did you just find? Shout slumber he wants, bird? He wants, he wants my neck oh, Okay. <laughs> adults, male and females make different vocalizations. Mm -hmm. So uh, we found out that he was a boy as an adult. That's cool. So Stompy's a boy. Um, Stompy is a common emu. This is an Australian ratite, a flightless bird. He's very nice. Oh, oh. he's relaxing. He got comfy. <laughs> Is he soft? I think he's pretty soft. He's quite soft. There's like a coarseness to the back feathers, but his neck is super soft. That's like real, real fluffy. <laughs> and now he wants to bite my rings. You can see it in his eyes. See, <laughs> he wants them, but Why does I... he want shiny things? What, 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 what makes him do that? The only theory that I've read that I think makes sense is that they're constantly looking for novel water sources because they're oh. from Australia. So if it's like glinting, they're like, ooh, water. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's the best guess that I have. You stupid. They have a relative. <laughs> you little stupid guy. <laughs> they eh? have a relatively small brain. Yeah, he's a little stupid guy, but he looks friendly enough. Yeah, it's he's okay. really cuddly. I did not expect that. It's okay, Stomp. It's fine. It's okay to be stupid. Someone asked if these are really dangerous. Um, I think that I mean, yeah, if they were to kick you, uh, they could certainly like disembowel you, but... Fucking hell, all right. I, didn't, I thought it was going like, it would hurt a lot. I didn't know I was going to say disembowel. <laughs> Jesus. But Stompy would never. Look at him. He's just a little guy. Winnie! We have an old friend. She's developed a bit of an attitude in oh, her what happened adolescence. happened Winnie the Moo? Winnie, Jack. Winnie, do you... <laughs> wow! <laughs> you wipe somebody's ass and, hey... <laughs> Well, you can be my friend for now. Hi, then. horsey. How do I feed you? Just hold Jack it. Jack has your food for you. Look. Oh my God. See? There you go. Yay. Now you guys are friends. <laughs> okay. <there you> go. <laughs> Great. We, I thought we were friends, and then she dragged it out of my fucking head. <laughs> so, Winnie, we have to teach people about the agriculture industry and the beef industry. She produces methane, which is a greenhouse gas. Yeah, she farts. She farts and burps methane. Um, and... We have so many beef cattle to support the demand for the beef industry um, that they're putting so much methane that it's contributing to climate change. So eating less beef is a really great start if you want to reduce your environmental impact uh, in what you're eating every day. Mm. You don't have to be vegan, but eating less beef is a great start. Mm. Also, it's better for cows, you know? Yeah, you you and be here. Yeah, but Winnie would not and be And you seem here. awfully ungrateful for it. No, she's, she, yeah, you're right. Winnie, we'll be back. All right. We're going to go get your ball. Look, Winnie. It's oh, Frio. Yeah. Oh, that's a happy <laughs> cow. Frio. <laughs> I don't know how to defend this. This is this is gameplay like I've never seen. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know how to I don't know how to play when you do this. You 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 stop you're not going to score doing this. You're just holding it. You're just ball hogging. Fucking Ah, yeah, you see? Now it's mine, huh? Yeah, we can two to play this fucking game. What are you gonna do now, huh? It's mine. You can't do shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think you could move it, did you? I'm dexterous. She's strategizing. Yeah, come on, think about it. I'm actually slightly worried that if she rams it with her head, it's gonna hit me straight in the balls. You are positioned for that. Yeah, I know, I might just... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie, what do you think? What a weirdo, huh? I'm gonna pass it to you, Winnie, okay? Oh. Well, oh. no, you've missed it now. What are you gonna do? Oh, no, yeah, you just- Yeah, good job, Winnie. You're just doing the oh, same strat. Drama. This doesn't work. There's drama. Uh, that cow had attitude and, uh, I mean, I wiped its damn ass, right, okay? That, you know, until that cow's wiped my ass, then it's gotta play football with me. That's just the way it is. Do we get a stompy hug? Oh yeah, you can hook Stomp. Here's, oh, here well, he hang on. Let me, <laughs> come on, big bird. Oh, there you go. See? That was 
slightly awkward. I give it like a two out of ten. Should I come right here? Come from the front, like come this. Come from the front. And then, and then, like this. Oh, that's so. Oh nice. wow! Don't Wait, hang on. I, I, now I feel like a <laughs> dickhead. That was really awkward. Are right, you ready? Hey, hey, Stumpy. Want a hug? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good hug. It is. Nice. All right, it was very brief. Oh, you, it was yeah. It wasn't. Yeah, well. It was okay. I suppose I am just a strange man. Push pop. Push pop. You Hello. can hold her if you want. She's a salcata tortoise. Oh wow, I've never held a tortoise. You wanna take her outside actually? Sure. We can take her for a little walk, she would like that. You know, actually she can she can move. Really? Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That Check that is out. speed, like Lightning McQueen. Push Pop is our newest ambassador. Again, she's a salcata tortoise. Do you know salcatas? No. They're the big ones. That, oh. that get to be like 100 pounds, 200 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Um, so she's so young, I guess. She's a baby. She's four years old, uh, but they can live to be like 100 years old. Yeah. So by the time she gets to that age, she'll be over 100 pounds. I swear to you, she actually can move pretty Yeah, fast. no, because right now she is doing very little. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Now that is speed. <laughs> it's like watching Usain Bolt. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I could keep up. These guys are endangered in the wild recently listed as endangered in 2020 oh wow um it's not i don't know why i said that like it's a, good, it's a bad thing no it's a bad thing uh yeah one because of habitat loss and two they're they're grazers so they live on grasslands in in central africa oh, but yeah little wild. they've moved a bunch of cattle onto their natural habitat so they're losing land to cattle oh. to um something with the beef industry so another reason to eat less beef all right you want to meet the chinchillas i would love to meet a chinchilla can you come here can you hold? Why is everyone laughing? Hold. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold. Really? Seriously? You made a chinchilla hold that? A chinchilla is Good saying job. Jet Manifold is bald. <laughs> There's a chinchilla holding a sign that says Jet Manifold is bald. Good job. Welcome to the, the marmoset the enclosure. <laughs> He's pogging. Monkeys. These are marmosets. Uh, yeah. They're small. <laughs> they watch you. Oh, this is what I love about monkeys. They're so smart. Yeah. Like, they're so. In they're like us. They're inquisitive. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That's Appa, and that's Momo. Appa, Momo. Um, wow. Appa is a white tufted marmoset or a common marmoset, uh -huh. and Momo is a black tufted marmoset. You can tell because of the black he's tufts. got black tufts. Yeah. yeah. You see, chat. They're like, oh, you made a noise. You do like screens. What a strange thing. God, we're so similar to them. Mm -hmm. iPad if, they, if they could just, if they could invent iPads, they would, they'd be like screen agers, wouldn't they? So some reasons that monkeys don't make good pets, so you got a monkey behind you. Um, oh yeah. One it's, reason that they don't make good pets is because it's just super unfair to them. Like they, they love being outside. They love having the space. Monkeys love having this outdoor space. They need a ton of space. And another reason is because their, no. their job no. in the wild not is to be seed dispersers. <laughs> <laughs> what do you I think? put my arm out and he did not like the do you idea. Do you want to come here? Oh. That's nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Chat, there is a monkey on my shoulders. There he is. Chat, That's nice, Appa. I'm wearing a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so in the wild, they're seed dispersers. So what they do is they eat a bunch of fruits and they swing around from trees and shit everywhere. Monkeys also bite. It's another reason you don't want them as pets. So in the wild, they'll swing from tree to tree. <laughs> I was really <laughs> hoping that would happen. That. That's fun. Um, <laughs> so exciting. Sorry, oh, that is so... You sat on the brim of my hat? Yeah. Oh no, he's on the top again. That's fu This is incredible chat. So their ability to poop everywhere helps a lot with forest regrowth. They'll plant trees. Excuse me, what does it do everywhere? Poop everywhere. All right, back to the thing, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so they swing that around. The, I just had a monkey sit on my head. I'm Good sorry, job, I'm Papa. really giddy. That was Oh, chat, this is sick. Sorry, explain more about them. I just, I really got excited no, about fine. the fact one sat on my head. They swing around, they poop everywhere. It helps with forest regrowth. It's really important in the wild, but in, uh -huh. in your house, they will swing around just shit everywhere. It's what yeah. they do. It's what they're, they love climbing, they're made to they? do. They do love climbing also, um, and they love biting, and they love destroying things. Do they climb up to the ceiling sometimes? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah, but they're just, they're not meant to be pets, so don't get monkeys as a, as a pet. Don't so do that. They're here to teach people about the exploitation of of monkeys in the pet trade and other animals in the pet trade. What the fuck are you? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that a fox? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I tell you what, I can tell you what they say. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I, 
No, go ahead. Tell us what they say, Jack. It, something like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I don't remember the song. This is an American red fox. What? And so is the other one that is red over there. You see him? Oh, you are red. This is Finn. Hello. Hi, Finn. I have some chicken if you want to give him some chicken. Oh, we eat chicken? Put your hand flat and he'll take it from you. Yeah. Um, oh, so God, you are just dogs. You are just dogs. He is like a dog a little bit. I always think foxes are just like like little dogs. So he's an American red fox, but he is this color because he was bred for the pet trade. So oh. he was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California by uh, California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Um, and people breed foxes to be lots of different colors because they want fancy looking foxes. Foxes don't make good pets. Um, I can imagine. They mark everything. They scent posts, so they'll uh, piss and shit on everything. Piss on things. Um, and they love digging. Like, they're super destructive if they're inside a home because they're meant to do stuff like that. They actually sound like screaming, like human screams. It's, it's quite scary. Here you go. I, uh, where I used to live in Brighton was a bit out of the way. <laughs> uh, and um, there was a fox that used to live on our yes. garden. I called him our pet, but he wasn't a pet really. Just like every day. I think he decided that our, our garden was quite big and he decided it was a safe place to sleep. So during the day, he'd come and sleep right in the center of the garden. And it was every day, so I used yeah. to go out and see him. Aww. Uh, I called him Swiper. It shocks me how, like, similar to dogs mm -hmm. they are, like, when he's, like, licking well, so your hands and stuff. He was raised... I mean, he was born in captivity and raised in someone's home. So he certainly acts more like a, a dog than Yeah, he's quite foxes. domesticated, isn't he? This one um, over there, that's Reed. He was born in the wild and was orphaned in the wild. So Aww. somebody found him as a baby. And then he was raised by people similar to the crows. He just never learned how to take yeah. care of himself in the wild. Do you want to try? He, if he runs away, then just walk back. But if you want to walk real slow over to Reed, I'll distract Finn. Okay. Um, and you can offer him that. And just oh. hold your hand out so he knows you have something. Uh, you, know, you know what's going on, huh? Huh? If you just want to outstretch your hand all the way to him, then yeah. let him come to you. Nice, that's great. Ah, there you go, buddy. Hey, nice little guy. You know what I mean? Like he's got a much um, like longer sort of pointed snout. Than Isn't him. that interesting? Yeah. It's so as if they bred him to be more dog-like. Dog -like. The crazy thing about people that want foxes is they want a fox, and then they want a fox that's like black and white and has spots, and then they want a, do a fox that has a shorter snout. <laughs> And then they want a fox that has floppy ears. Yeah. And then they want one that'll fetch. They just want a dog. Yeah, just get a dog. <laughs> just at that get point. a dog. Dogs are allowed. You're allowed to have dogs. He pants like a dog. He just, he really. And like, I realize it is because he's been bred that way. Mm -hmm. But like, it is fascinating to me that like, you can breed foxes to be so dog like. You shouldn't do it. What but you get in it your is eye, fascinating. Bob? Does he like getting pet or is that too much for him? Uh, no, not really. I can't really touch him. Yeah, I figured. Maybe Very not. good tool. That was great. Guys, thank you so much if you donated throughout the stream. I know I didn't see them all, but I really appreciate it. No, yeah, I, I also appreciate it um, because uh, it means Maya will invite me back, which I quite I do yeah! enjoy coming a lot. When Jack moves to Austin, Texas, he can oh, work here. I really here. thought about it, you know. He can, have you really? Yeah, I was I was genuinely going to move here for quite a while. What? I really enjoyed it. Jack's going to move here. Well, and I'll then say. I'm hiring him and his girlfriend as zookeepers and Winnie butt really? wipers. I will never wipe an ass again. Yay. But thank you for showing me all the animals. I, I actually learned a lot. All right, we'll see you all soon, everybody. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.